Here's what I ate in a day on the petroleum diet, starting off the morning with some lucky charms for the classics, the red 40, the yellow 5, the yellow 6, the blue 1, getting a nice petrochemical dose first thing in the morning. Then I'm off to Starbucks to get my morning brew, a boiling cup of coffee and plastic cup to release some of that polyethylene, billions of microplastics and nanoplastics. Then I'm off to McDonald's for lunch, a lot of Cedos in the bun, in the fries, hoping to get some of that good hexane residue from the extraction process. I gotta get my daily aspartame dose, it's synthesized with methanol, I can't skip that. And in the french fries I know I'm getting dimethyl polysiloxane. For a midday snack we're stopping at the 7-Eleven, we're grabbing a Munster energy drink for the benzoic acid, made from toluene, and I'm grabbing a Reese's cup for the TBHQ, preservative made from butane. These are key for my petrochemical diversity. For dinner, a frozen pizza, I'm going for that glyphosate. It's not directly a petroleum derivative, but hey, I'm getting the most famous herbicide in the world. And of course, gotta eat it with a chick fil sauce for the EDTA, a preservative made from ethylene diamond, and formaldehyde, sodium cyanide, all derived from petroleum. And for dessert before sleep, I can't forget about my polysorbate 80, just to help take the edge off while I watch some of my favorite videos. If you're eating this way, you are too maximizing your petrochemical intake, send this to a friend who needs to see this.